What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and it is time to do a couple of shout outs. Now, do you remember I posted a video where I said I want you to put these four words in a sentence, in a single sentence, and then the most creative ones will get a shout out. And the words were Grimlock, iPhone, Facebook, and Watermelon. And you can use it in whatever order. You just got to put it in a sentence, and then I will pick five from Twitter. Five from YouTube and five from Facebook and the entries are in and I just want to recognize those people for putting in their comments and having a good time. <laughs> okay, let's start off with um, Twitter. All right. Zach McCarty says Grimlock used his... Why am I using the voice? <laughs> Grimlock used his iPhone to call Facebook followers to get them to buy him watermelon. <laughs> okay. Moving on, we have Alex Kwan, who says, Grimlock has a Facebook account because an iPhone app said if he bought a watermelon, he would, he would have a chance to meet Optimus. <laughs> nice. Dominic Bandola says, Grimlock eating a watermelon, taking a pic of... <laughs> Grimlock eating a watermelon, taking a pic of it of his iPhone and sending it on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Diego Alvarado says, Yesterday, Grimlock was like me. King Grimlock ate Grimlock iPhone while using Watermelon Facebook app. <laughs> KJSB Forever says, The Watermelon ate the iPhone who ate the Grimlock who ate the Facebook. Nice! Now that is what I call creativity. <laughs> Okay, let's go on over to uh, to to Facebook. Okay, Jin Wei Chua says one day Grimlock was using a blender to blend watermelon juice, and on the same time taking a look at his Facebook after the watermelon juice is finished, he accidentally poured it into his iPhone and thought that his iPhone was a cup. <laughs> Whoo! Okay, moving on, we got. Rafael Perez, a bored Grimlock, had a tea party with Mr. Watermelon and used his iPhone to write about it on his fruity Facebook wall. <laughs> ben Lake says, Grimlock bought an iPhone to go on Facebook but was distracted by a watermelon covered in beryllium baloney. <laughs> oh, God. Yuvan Ravindran says, Grimlock carved his watermelon to look like an iPhone and ate his real one and used the watermelon iPhone to check his Facebook account. Can you imagine that? And then we have Brianna Bourne who says, Grimlock was fighting a iPhone who transformed into a samurai so he can get his revenge for eating his watermelon he posted on Facebook. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go over to YouTube. Dylan Ventura Alvarez says, Grimlock was eating watermelon while texting Optimus Prime. He has no friends on Facebook. Wait a minute. There was no iPhone. Okay, so we're going to do another one, okay? TF Prime 1114 says, Grimlock transformed into a watermelon and beat the crap out of his iPhone right after he saw a picture of himself on Facebook. Wow. Patrick Rodriguez says, me Grimlock roll on watermelon, then I jump my face. Feet on my huge iPhone and my toes clicked on Facebook to see the Rage Nation. Grimlock the Thrasher one says someone accidentally dropped the watermelon on Grimlock's iPhone, making him mad because he finally figured out how to create a Facebook account. Dark Setter 018. Grimlock ate his iPhone while he was on Facebook and used a watermelon as a helmet to skull bash Decepticons. <laughs> And finally, Sean Shackelford says Grimlock was riding an iPhone into battle while eating a watermelon and posting it on Facebook. So Grimlock was somehow posting fa uh, f faces, selfies while he was riding on the iPhone while going into battle. Maybe that battle took place in a Hong Kong, uh, a, a f like fruit market, like a produce market, because you know there's watermelons there. Anyways, thanks a lot for all the entries. That was a lot of fun. You guys are full of creativity. And you guys are hilarious. <laughs> and we're going to do another contest, uh, a shout out contest, um, pretty soon. But for now, I want you guys to take a look at something. I have in my hand, whoop, I have in my hand three Rage Nation VIP badges. And these are going out to a couple of 
Raging Nation supporters, and I want to thank everybody who has been purchasing VIP passes, and they're going out tomorrow, and what's going to happen is that um, we got a contest happening this weekend, either this weekend or Monday, but we're giving something away to Raging Nation VIP members, all right? So that's what happens when you are part of the Raging Nation VIP. We give stuff away, or rather I give stuff away to you guys, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. All you gotta do is buy yourself, pff, buy yourself one of these, wear it around your neck, and then on the day of the video where I'm doing the, 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 the prize giveaway announcement, Look out for your number, and then when I call out your number, let's just say it's number seven. And then when I say the winner is number seven, you'll be like, oh my god, that's my number. All right, then you're the winner, and then you just give me your address, and I send you a prize. It's that simple. These are $5.99 plus $3.50 shipping. shipping. <laughs> $3.50 shipping all around the world, anywhere around the world. It's $3.50 to ship anywhere, and... Get yourself one because we're down to 30 of them. I think we're down to 30 now. And once they're gone, they're gone. And then everybody is going to end up getting prizes if I give, if I randomly pick out your name. All right. And it's that simple. Oh, and by the way, even if you buy it um, now and you don't get your pass, you still have the lucky number. That's, that's a number sign, number out of 100. Even though you don't have the pass, like physically, I still have the number that is associated with your name. And therefore, if I draw out your name, you'll be getting the prize anyways. All right, so there you have it. That's all I got to say. If you want to pass, email me at ragingnation at gmail.com. Or if you want speedy service, just send me $9.49. That would be $5.99 plus $3.50, which equals $9.49 in US dollars to RagingNation at gmail.com via PayPal. If I'm sold out, I'm sold out and I'll refund your money. But at the end of all of this, get it while supplies last. And there you have it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation. Check out my photos at... <laughs> On Instagram at the Raging Nation, and by the way, update number hundred is coming soon. We're gonna talk about non-movie Transformers. I got a couple of non-movie Transformers that I'm really excited to talk about, and we're gonna talk about that in the next New York Toy Fair 2014 coverage for Transformers: Age of Extinction, or rather, just Transformer toys in general. And I'll see you next time. All right, peace. Have official. History from Transformers Age of Extinction, the production, and it's in the form of this.